Hey everyone, so the first thing I wanted to let you know is that this artwork is available as a print on my Redbubble shop. You can get it on a variety of things like tote bags, mugs, pillows, whatever. And the original is for sale if you wanna purchase that. The links will be down below. So first of all, I'm back. And you, maybe it didn't seem like I was gone because I still had videos going up, but pretty much all of that was pre-recorded except that D23 haul because I was out of town most of July, and so it feels like it's been forever since I filmed a video. First I was gone for a wedding, then I was gone to the D23 Expo in Disneyland, and then I went to visit family slash work on stuff for my wedding because I'm getting married in two months, and so there was a lot of stuff to do at my mom's place, and now I'm back in Vancouver, and I gotta catch up on a lot of stuff. So what I'm working on in this video is the next YouTube Artist Collective piece and I'll have links to the other members down below if you want to go see their videos from this theme and the theme is Zodiac and so that can be interpreted in a couple different ways because there's the Chinese Zodiac then there's the one that's like Libra and Cancer and Virgo and all those things. <laughs> I decided to combine it into one so I'm doing Year of the Horse and Libra because I was born in October 1990 so it's related to me I guess I just wanted to do mine my sign I guess so I decided to draw a Libra woman riding a horse because I mean if you're gonna include a horse why not put a person on a horse and I never draw horses I was trying to think if I've ever drawn a horse and I seriously don't know if I've ever drawn a horse ever like maybe as a kid I drew a horse probably at some point in a school project I don't know but I don't think I've ever drawn a horse I don't know, I just haven't been interested in it. I'm trying to get more into animals in general, but horses are just not one of my favorite animals. Like, they just freak me out. I know a lot of people love horses, so I'm really sorry. But they're just big and like really muscular. You know, they're not very cute looking. They're like buff and creepy and like they can kill you. And it's different than like a bear. A bear can kill you, but a bear is fluffy and cute. Horses are just like, I don't know. They creep me out. But I had to include a horse for Year of the Horse. So this is what you get. And I did a combination of watercolor and pencil, which I've actually done for a few art pieces recently, although you haven't seen them because a couple of them I did in the live streams. And so if you didn't watch the streams, then you probably missed out. But I just finished two of them in my last Adobe stream. And so there's one of this bunny, which is so cute. And it wasn't being recorded because I was out of town when I did the first part of the live stream and I didn't have all my filming equipment. I just had my webcam and set up for the live stream and so that's not filmed and I kind of regret it because it turned out cute but I will have prints of it on my Redbubble store if you're interested in getting a print of it and then the other one I did was this little pirate chick and I don't I don't know that one was I don't really like that one as much so that one's that one's just <laughs> we'll act like that one doesn't exist but anyway both of those involved watercolor and pencil and so I've just been in that watercolor and pencil mood I guess so that's what I wanted to do for this picture and as always, the materials are listed down below in the video description if you wanna check that out and see what supplies I used. Now, the thing I wanted to talk about in terms of my process for this picture was the mock-up I made. And I've done this a few times in the past where I will take various reference photos and kind of mash them together in Photoshop. I'll cut out bits of one, paste it over here, change the color, draw in my own stuff, just manipulate it to be what I want it to be because reference is pretty important, especially if it's something you've never drawn before, like a horse. And so what I did is I went on Adobe Stock because they have a bunch of stock images and I have that service and I don't use enough photos per month. I need to step up my game, but that's part of the reason why I got that account is because I want to use more reference to improve my art skills. So I thought that account would be good, not sponsored, but <laughs> yay, Adobe Stock. So I found this horse picture I really liked and I just altered the colors. I positioned it how I wanted in the art and drew a woman on top of it. And I even pasted a bit of a face onto it also from Adobe stock and then put galaxy in the background. And that was just meant to be the rough guideline for my drawing, kind of like a sketch in a sense, cause there was sketching involved, but incorporating reference photos. And that way I know what I'm drawing going into it. It saves me time down the road because I'm not sitting there constantly erasing, being like, what do I want? What do I want? I don't know, I don't know. The composition's already figured out and the reference is built in. So that's really handy. So then when you go to do your sketch, you can look at that and know exactly what you're drawing. 
Sometimes I even do that when I'm not exactly copying the reference, like that oil painting I did a couple weeks ago. Well, it's, it's been longer since I made it, but it was, the video was uploaded a couple weeks ago. I made a mock-up for that one too, where I had the girl and I like pasted hair onto her and like pasted flowers on her for her outfit and added the antlers. And I didn't draw her exactly as her face looked, like I wasn't trying to replicate it, but I just wanted that reference for the shadows for the face because I'm not really used to painting things that realistically. And again, just wanting to improve my art skills, I wanted to do a study of how the shadows were falling on her face. So it doesn't capture her likeness, but I was paying attention to the shadows just so I could learn from it. So it's something I definitely recommend doing, making a little mock-up in Photoshop and printing it off and having that to look at while you work. Now that I'm home, I'm getting everything back on track, including the live streams, but there are changes. So I'm not sure what I've all said on the art channel previously because everything I filmed was filmed like forever ago, but the Adobe streams are ending. Actually, they have ended. The last stream day was July 30th. And so that was my last stream day. And so I'm no longer streaming on the Adobe channel on Twitch because they're not doing any live streaming on their Twitch channel anymore. They're just hosting other channels. And so that's done. And I decided to just redo my whole Twitch schedule in general because I've been having second thoughts about it. And I decided I'm moving my art streams to YouTube and I'm keeping just game streams on Twitch. And so on YouTube, I'm gonna have an art stream the second Sunday of every month, except probably not October. I might have to move Octobers around because I'm getting married, but <laughs> I'll give you updates when the time comes. But assuming there's no interference, every second Sunday of the month, will be an art stream here on YouTube and the art I create during it will be exclusive for the live stream. It'll be like a whole day event. I'll try to get it started as early as possible so people overseas can tune in as well. And it'll just be like, I don't know, it'll be a thing. It'll, I think it'll be more exciting than the ones I did on Twitch. It'll be similar, but just, I think it'll be more of like, more of an event, I guess. I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoy them. And since they're on Sundays, I think more people can tune in as opposed to Tuesdays where people are at work or school or whatever. So hopefully that works out better for you guys. And then, like I said, Twitch will have the game streams there and the schedule is on Twitter and on my Twitch page if you wanna check that out. So yeah, that's my update with all the stream stuff. So the next art stream is gonna be Sunday, August 13th. So mark your calendars, set an alarm on your phone. I don't know the exact start time, I haven't picked the exact start time yet, but you know, keep an eye out on Twitter. I'll update you guys. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say though. So that's it for this video. Be sure to watch the other YouTube Artist Collective videos that are linked down below. Well, I'll, I'll link the channels and the Facebook page and you can go check those people's videos out. And if you're interested in getting a print or the original, again, links are down below. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.